Hello and welcome friends to my uh, first unboxing video. Today I have received four packages from sellers in my uh, country and I want to share my excitement in uh, receiving these packages. I will start with um, this uh, package. I'm not sure what uh, fountain pen it is in it but um, I will open it and see what we have and I have some scissors here it is difficult to operate them behind the camera okay let's open it and I can feel the bubbles the air bubbles in the package Sorry. Okay. So. It comes in this uh, box. Nivea shaving cream. It is a certainly quite good. And let's see what we have. Put the stickers here. And I will gently open the box. Inside the box, oh, wrapped in paper. So it was quite a nice. Um, let's put this nicely packaged. And let's open this. I think I will use the scissors because uh, it is tightly packed and another roll of tissue oh, so it was quite quite heavily packaged in a way that uh, the fountain pen wasn't damaged I hope I don't damage it now when I open this my god okay and lots of papers and the surprise is killing me yes i will okay it looks quite nice so this is the pelican 140 from uh, the beginning of the 1950s this is the black schwarz version as you can see here we have the number 140 we have the famous clip in the shape of a pelican and this beautiful beautiful ink window it has a little scratch here but no problem some um, ink is, is left in the reservoir but this means that it was tested and this is the nib 14 karat 585 gold uh, nib I am quite uh, pleased with this fountain pen in case you are wondering what I paid for it. Well, I paid for it only 270 lei, which means that I paid 56 euros or 65 American dollars. At this price, this is a real beautiful, beautiful classic pelican, a classic German fountain pen from the 1950s. Okay, I am quite pleased with my first purchase. Let's uh, take the papers and packages out. And let's um, try to open this other package. Let's... Uh, okay. So... I'm getting uh, quite efficient in opening these packages. Okay, this is, uh, I believe this is a fountain pen from, uh, bought from the um, same buyer. It is uh, wrapped in uh, cream. Let's see how we can open it. It is quite well packed. Let's start with here. Okay, and 
here. So I will open. This is a quite a small fountain pen, and uh, it is also a German fountain pen. It is also from the 1950s, and this is one of my favorite little fountain pens from Germany from that period. I want to thank the seller for wrapping it quite carefully. They are, um, um, let's say, um, quite um, vulnerable fountain pens. And this is a clue. We have a Caveco, but a beautiful, beautiful Caveco. And this is the model 12 from uh, the beginning of the 1950s. And I'm excited of this nib, OBB, Oblique Double Broad. You can see the beautiful faceted um, cap and we have Caveco Sport. We unscrew the cap and look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gold nib. And uh, it is a 14 karat 585 gold nib, oblique double broad. This is uh, the second uh, Caveco 12 in my collection and um, I love its um, green in window. And this is, uh, this has, um, let's say a personalization. This is a brand ONK. When I will do the review of this fountain pen, I will uh, see if I can find information about this company. You must know that the Cavecos from the 1950s, the Caveco Sports, were branded and uh, were given as um, present either to the employees of this company or to the clients of this company. And uh, in case you are wondering what I paid for this beauty, well, I paid only 285 lei, including the shipment, and uh, it means that I paid only 59 euros or 60 nine American dollars and uh, you can compare it with the Pelican 140 this is a quite small fountain pen a practical fountain pen let's uh, leave them here and I left the um, nicer model to the end this is a Mont Blanc but you will see it's a special Mont Blanc and I paid for this uh, quite a large sum of money in comparison with the other ones. This came in this box and it will take me some time to open it. Maybe I will do some editing because um, your time is precious, my time is precious and um, it will take me quite a time to to proper and let's start with this part to proper open this box and let's see okay hmm. so I've managed to partially open this it comes in this um, box I think it was oh a surveillance camera okay Let's see now how to open it. Yes, this should do the trick. Let's see. So, trying to to open it gently, and I'm trying to avoid injury. I don't want to cut myself. So, it appears this is the front of the package and I should get it okay let's try this hmm I hope you can see how much trouble it is oh I will definitely ruin this box because I am exciting of its content, so I'm sorry. Another well packaged uh, fountain pen, and I want to thank 
the seller so look it is packaged quite good and this is the content yes this is the content okay let's put them aside and remember we have a Mont Blanc product and ta-da look at it it is in its original cardboard box we have Mont Blanc on it and uh, yes 252 EF so I don't think this is the original box because um, on the note I am expecting a 254 but it is what it is let's see the content yes beautiful beautiful content and it comes with its original papers let's leave the box and let's see the papers so we have only um small leaflet and it teaches us how to use the fountain pen let's see if we have it, the english version no only in german yes only in german and this is for mont blanc and monterosa fountain pens so interesting okay i told you that this fountain pen it is a 254 model so the box it is from a 252 model but it is not a problem i believe they were sold um, in similar packages you can see mont blanc beautiful beautiful shape of the fountain pen and i particularly love the logo look at the logo the logo is slightly uh, yellow because of the material casein and in time this casein develops in this ivory patina and uh, it shows us that this is a product of the 1950s this is amazing look, just look at it we have m the size of the nib here on the turning knob and i'm excited to see the nib i thought it was a screwed in cap but no it's a pressure fit cap we also have a blue ink window and this is the beautiful beautiful mont blanc nib 14 carat mont blanc 585 nib i love the shape of this opened nib and um, this is the ebonite feed on the back i must tell you that um, i'm impressed with this fountain pen it, it's in pristine condition no uh, major scratches you can see it's a beautiful beautiful fountain pen you can see also the gold plating it uh, survived the test of time it's almost in a new shape i paid for this uh, fountain pen mont blanc fountain pen mont blanc 254 662 lei which means that i paid only 136 euros or 160 american dollars and this price includes the shipping of this beautiful beautiful mont blanc piece so um yes let's check out if the piston works why not okay look at it yes it works and now we unscrew back of course i will test all the three fountain pens because um i will test the, all the three fountain pens in my fountain pen review so let's see them side by side here they are you can see that mont blanc is the larger of the three of them and uh, it is uh, closely followed by the pelican 140 and this beautiful beautiful caveco sport fountain pen a practical and a nice fountain pen they're all black classic schwarz german classic schwarz 
and uh, stay tuned to my channel because I will do a review on um, each of the fountain pens. And as a strange fact, I have uh, the models. So I have another Caveco 12 from the 1950s. I have another Pelican in my collection 140 dark green, as I call it, Gruner. And I also have a Mont Blanc 254 in my collection, but you will see that it is in poor shape um, because um, it lacks the gold nib, I believe, and it has some problems with the piston. But it is nice to have it in my collection because I can use spare parts in the case that this uh, fountain pen will break in time. So thank you guys. This was my first unboxing and it's like Christmas for me. I paid, uh, yes, a generous sum of money for these three beauties, but believe me, they are worth the money, and uh, I am glad that I could share my excitement with uh, you. If you like this uh, small unboxing, and uh, if you want to see the review of this fountain pen, please stay tuned to my channel. Please subscribe uh, to support my activity and please give a like to this uh, video. As always, I wish you to have a good day. Thank you for your time and bye bye.